Hello everyone, welcome to the Wangzilla channel. My name is Will, and this will be a very quick, very simple video on how to test your 240 volt outlet, three prong, and really to just determine if your outlet is functioning correctly, if you're getting the appropriate voltages. And I recently installed this outlet for to run a welder. And uh, as you can see here, this is the plug that would actually plug into an outlet like this. And I already have my meter here in place, which is the easiest way really to test this. But if uh, you're, you notice you have an issue where you're not getting uh, power to your device that's plugged in here, I always recommend just double check your uh, circuit breaker, make sure the breaker hasn't tripped. And then you can go ahead and test this voltage to verify that you are actually getting uh, the voltage that you expect, which would be 240 volts. A real quick note on the outlet itself, as you can see here, the top port here is going to be your ground. And then both of these are going to be your hot ports. Now between these two hot ports, when you measure it, it should read 240 volts, which is why it's a 240 volt outlet. Now, I have a very basic meter, uh, voltage meter, or digital multimeter right here, and uh, very simple to use. You wanna verify that your red uh, test lead, which are gonna be probed like this. They do make different styles, but uh, these are the ones that came with this. You wanna make sure that it is plugged into the port. It does have a V indicator, uh, and then you want your black one on the COM port. Now, for 240, 240 volt, outlet such as this one right here you want to make sure that you have your multimeter set to the right range and setting so we're going to twist this dial here to the v with the swiggle under it that actually represents alternating current uh, the next one over would be dc represented by the straight line and then you're going to go back to the alternating current which is what we're going to want to use and you notice the decimal point here it only allows a range of up to 9.99 volts which of course will not be near high enough to measure a 240 volt outlet. So we're gonna hit the range button a couple times here to move the decimal point so we can measure into the hundreds. And that's pretty much it. The digital multimeter is set up and we can test the voltage. You're gonna take your two uh, test leads here and you're just gonna measure either way across the two hot ports, such as this. And as you see the reading on the meter, 241.3 volts, which is plus minus a couple volts between 240, meaning that it is good. But now that we verified that, I'll go ahead and take my welder here, plugs right here, go ahead and plug it in, and we can confirm that indeed it is functioning as it should. Here's the welder. This one is in the 240 setting, and I'll go ahead and power it on. And as you can see, Power's on just fine and showing us that is indeed getting the 240 volts that we expect and that we have tested with that port. I'll go ahead and shut down the welder and really that'll wrap it up. Very simple, but if you had that question, what you needed to do with your meter, what you need to do to test your outlet, that's it. So hopefully that helps somebody. Feel free to check out my other videos. I do have a video uh, linked up here that shows you uh, how I switch from a four prong to a three prong outlet. I went from a dryer plug to a plug that can take most welders and most uh, you know power equipment, compressors and stuff like that, which is why I made that conversion. So uh, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, let me know what else you'd like to see. Hopefully I have a ton more con con content coming out, being with my cars, home improvement projects, tech gaming, and all sorts of other stuff. So anyways, stick around, have a great day. And as always, peace.